And welcome, everyone. This is your lovable winner and the next president of the United States. If y'all vote for me now. <laughs> I am Prince DJ, and man, let me tell you, we've been under a heat prison. People have been having a lot of heat waves, but there's few people still going on vacation, still having a summertime. The kids are out of school. The kids are going to summer camp. And there's people in the beach relaxing in the sand and taking them the waves. And you know what? It's time for the wrestlers to shine. It's time for belts to be won. It's time for battles to be mowed. The tribal battle, the supreme the supreme type tribal chief is on the line in the historic tribal battle. It is time for SummerSlam. Big D Country, Chris DJ and the Sheriff present SummerSlam prediction. Da, da, da. I tried to go to SummerSlam. I fought the law and the law won. I fought the law and the law won. Here is your host, Chris DJ and the Sheriff. A big D country. Take it away, Sheriff. All right. Thank you, Deshaun. Let's go with down the lineup in no particular order. The Slim Jim SummerSlam Battle Royal, 20-man Battle Royal. Anything? Oh, wow. I have no idea who's going to be in this Battle Royal. What? No clue. Wait, 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 wait. In the words of, in the words of Booker T, tell me. Tell me they did not do that on us. Tell me that they did not do that. They have a 20-man battle royal and not tell us who. Come on, we're doing a prediction show here. <laughs> That's the element of surprise, buddy. Oh, my God. Goodness. Really? Holy okay. moly. So we have, you don't know we who's going to be in it. Battle. We have a 20-man battle royal, and we don't know who the hell is in there. Okay. I get it. Okay, I can dig that. Can you dig that? That's (laughs) it. All right. Okie dokie. All right, we got an MMA rules match. Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler. Ooh, that's going to be a tough call. That's going to have to be a double down to me because, you know, Ronda Rousey is the the queen of the, I think it's the Zizarmer or something like that. Yeah, yeah, but it's basically an arm bar. And both of them are skilled in mixed martial arts. Both yeah. are both skilled in mixed martial arts. That's going to be a double down. So, you know what? It's going to be a double down between Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Double down. Double down. Yep. Sorry. All right. Intercontinental, okay. Intercontinental Championship match. Gunther with Imperium with Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. Versus Drew McIntyre. Wait, has Drew McIntyre won a t- championship? He's won numerous titles. Okay. Uh, and Imperial just started, right? Imperium has actually been, actually been in WWE since um, late 2019. Yeah, it's time for him, time for him to take, take the title. Imperium. Oh, you mean Drew you? McIntyre? I'm going for Drew McIntyre. Okay. All right. Made the best player right. win. Yeah. Rick, Rick, Ricochet versus Logan Paul. Oh, oh, oh that, that's easy. That's easy. That's easy. That's easy. Ricochet. That's easy. Easy out. Ricochet, of course. Yup. Okay, no. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell does the Triple H see in Logan Paul? Tell me that. I've been asking this since we started doing this. I don't know, man. He's, but he's been doing really well in the ring. I, He's been doing really well in the ring. Give the guy credit. I heard. Give the guy I heard. Give the guy credit. Triple H is singing his praises. Yeah, give him credit. Yeah. That's the only thing I can say about him. 
I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have. So if a podcaster can wrestle, then I'm gonna have to be a podcaster who can commentate. Uh, yeah, okay. give me a job in commentating on the wrestling. Yeah. Okie doke. All righty. Triple threat match for the WWE Women's Championship. Asuka, this is the be- current Women's Championship. This current Women's Champ versus Charlotte Flair versus the former Women's Champ. Bianca Bear. I mean, Bianca Belair. <laughs> uh, you gotta make you gotta make make me live to uh you gotta make me live to see those words again to put the heart in me, but still that that's all right. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. this is gonna be a good match. <laughs> Holy moly! Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be a really good uh, women's uh, triple threat match. You got Oscar, and you got you got Oscar and the Green uh, Green Mist. She spit out. Uh, yeah. She got you got um, you got Charlotte Flair, and and you also got uh, Bianca Bear. No, Bianca Belair. <laughs> I'm gonna. I, I believe I'm just gonna be a double down. I'm sorry because all three men women know how to uh, take the title. And all three women have a lot of tricks up their sleeve. And all three women deserve the right to be a number one contender. And so I'm going to give it to all three women. So it's a, no, it's going to be a triple down. If this is a triple threat match, a triple down. What about you? I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to go with a triple play on this one. But I think the, I'm going to give the edge to Charlotte Flair since she is the daughter of the 16-time former NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Thy nature boy, Ric Flair. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I got to give the answer to Charlotte, too. But still yep. triple down, but give the answer to Charlotte, too. I, I agree wholeheartedly. Okay. Singles match. We got Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. Oh, you know, you know where I'm going to... Da, 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 I'm going for, for Cody Rhodes myself. I love Cody, yeah. man. Cody Rhodes got a lot of momentum behind him. Yeah, yeah of course I'm going with American Nightmare. Cody, Cody Rhodes. Oh! I think they announced Cody him. Rhodes, yeah. yeah, Cody Rhodes got a lot of momentum behind him. He's going to be... Yeah, he's ready. He's primed and ready. Yep. One of the biggest stars right now in WWE. Exactly. From exactly. undesirable to undeniable. Yep. Yeah, I still, I still say he's gonna, he's, he's gonna win a title after SummerSlam. Mark my words. Mark my words. He's gonna win a title after SummerSlam. No doubt about it. Then of course exactly. we got the singles match for the World Heavyweight Title. We got Seth Rollins against Finn Balor. Oh. oh. This is going to be don't incredible. forget, I mean, Damian. But don't forget, Damian Priest says that money in the bank cash in. <sighs> oh, that's right. I forgot. Oh, that's right. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Shiro. Holy crap! And so does but, you know, this guy for her women for her cash in too. Ooh, that should be a that should be a huge play. But I'm going to go. Wait, yeah, who is this? Finn, Finn Balor. Finn Balor, right? Yeah, Finn Balor. Yeah, I'm going with Finn Balor all the way. And I'm gonna to have to go with Cody Rhodes. I mean, I mean Seth Rollins. Sorry about that. My bad. Wrong Seth. <laughs> My bad. My bad. I was looking at the card. I was looking at the card wrong. My bad. Wrong matchup. Wrong shot. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> okay, no. Continue. Okay, no. What are you gonna pick? I'm going for Seth Rollins. I love Seth Rollins. Oh, 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 oh! Wait, 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 wait! Seth freaking Rollins. You know what? I'm not afraid to go double down on that because I like the way he said Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's cool. All right, tribal combat match for the undisputed. WWE Universal Championship. 
and recognition of the tribal chief. Oh, my God. Roman Reigns with Paul Heyman and Solo Sokoa versus Jimmy Uso. Well, you know what? We we would tell a wrestler. I may I may mess this up. Don't, don't tie. We would tell a wrestler to hang up to hang up his boots and his tie. Yeah, I messed that up. But anyway, Roman Reigns, it's time. You had a good run. You had a good three year run, but it's time. It's time because the brand new Tribal Chief and the brand new champion is going to be Jay. Ooh. So, I don't know, man. I'm after double. I don't know, man. I'm after double down. Oh, ooh, ooh, a double down. Interesting. I might pull a double down. You know, there could be an interference. Oh, oh, yeah. I have a yeah. I have a real feeling, but yeah, I really, I really want. I we can't have we can't have Roman Reigns to be uh be champion like two thousand like a two thousand day reign. We can't do that. I mean I'm tired of that. Well Well um, well the last time they had a two thousand like a like at least a four year reign was um Hulk yeah, Hogan. Yeah. And, well it's, the last okay. time they had a last year they had a five year like a four year reign was um Hulk Hogan back in the eighties. Yeah, that's the that's the eighties. This, this is uh two thousand and three. Uh this is this is rest in the world of twenty twenty three. Two thousand twenty three. Yeah, twenty 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 three I should say. Anyway, in the words of CM Punk, this is wrestling, this is not ballet. Yeah, exactly. I mean it's I time mean, to have it's time to have a new blood <laughs> champion here. Come on. Yeah, you gotta you gotta Fine. give him credit though. You gotta give him credit though. I mean, yeah, they got the best storyline in the, in the bloodline, but still, still, the same champion every single year. I mean, the same damn champion. It's 2023. Come on. I mean, I'd rather have you, the sheriff, be champion, at least. I'd rather have you be yeah. champion. Yeah, he's, yeah, but he's doing really well right now. But there are a few surprises. According to what I read on um, WrestlingNews.com, Randy Orton is in the building. Yeah, from is from Randy my own. In, is in, is in, my is in old, Detroit for some swim. From my old used to be stomping ground, St. Louis, Missouri. Although that city is corrupt, for the corruption. But well, he might be interfering in, in some match. I have a weird feeling, but I hope it's not the Him time. Or Bray Wyatt. Or I don't know, man. Yeah. Wait a minute. Did I just I say know, Tribal Council? Yeah. This isn't Survivor Day, Tribal Council. Oh Bullout. my God! I meant to say tri- uh I meant to say Tribal Battle. I mean, oh my combat, God. combat, long shot. Well, the tribe has spoken. Might as well. <laughs> Might as well. The tribe has spoken. All right. Uh, this is a fun podcast, I swear. Holy good. This is a night. fun podcast. Good Lord. Uh, continue. Okay. Robert Roode to work at for, sorry, WWE SummerSlam, according to Wrestler, Wrestling Observer. Oh, Robbie Roode. You mean, is he the one with the glorious, I will defend, yeah, he I will retire. Retire. Yeah, he's retired, uh-huh. actually. Oh, 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 wow. Okay. Ooh. According to this, according to this, by a sports, sports Kedia, 17 year veteran to return from injury to win SummerSlam Battle Royal. Oh, wow. I don't know. What do you mean? Yeah. yeah, it's just in the fact that we don't know who that is. Yeah. Mount Rushmore managers by the ringer. Oh, Mount Mount Red Rushmore. At 4, F4W online. Whoa. Well, I still say Theodore not- Long, Long was a great manager. Hala, hala. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> That's what I've been reading as well. Oh, cool. Cool. Uh, is there Holy any more Mexican? Is there That's any more Mexican? I've been reading about right now. First okay. thing I've been first last saw by Kyle A. Scarborough, we could be seeing a fiendish thing. Oh. We could be some, seeing something fiendish. I may have a clue, but we're going to have to wait to see tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's what I've been reading. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Sheriff, I mean, this has been fun. This is, this is, I mean, every time we do a wrestling pay-per-view, we always know how to bring in the fun. Yeah. And the theme song they've actually used for this year's SummerSlam is Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf. You know what? We, not, we might not be able to play the music, but I could show a sing a little bit, but it's going to be Born to be Wild. Well, it does fit a little bit because they are in the Motor City and they do have a line that says, Get your motor running. I wish and I could it, find a 45 of that thing. I wish I could find a 45 of that song. Oh, well, you know that's probably going to be rare. You know that, right? Yeah, I collect a lot of vinyl records. Lo- yeah, off topic. <laughs> Wait, you don't have that song, Boy to Be Wild, yet? Really? Actually, I'm actually gonna have it on. Actually, have it on CD. Oh yeah, yeah. All Man, right. that, that that is and a great that is a great theme song they picked. Wow. Yep. Yeah, now I'm gonna have to now I'm gonna have to listen to it on. I'm gonna have to find it on YouTube and listen to it. Uh, uh just a. I mean, although I I uh, you know, I don't have. Well, I can't take that for Peacock, but then I have to pay the subscription, but. Just to pump me up, just to SummerSlam at least. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And oh, wait a minute. Words of wisdom for y'all. Wait a minute. Before you got your words of wisdom, whatever happened to uh, uh, Rhea Ripley? Is, is she defending her belt? Her uh, and the Judgment Day not going to be there? I'm not even sure. They might schedule it for. You might find out tonight on SmackDown. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I forgot. This is the go home show. To so, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's kind of a booper. That's not a long shot, but I just asked. I had to ask because I was like, wait a minute, wouldn't be all the bells be up for grab on SummerSlam? Nice to go home. Yeah, it's nice to go home show. Yeah. But now right. you can now you can share your words of wisdom. All right. This is one of my favorite movies, Rocky Balboa. Let me tell you something you already know. The world all ain't, the world all, the world all ain't sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. I don't care how tough you are. It will beat you to your knees and keep there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. If you know you, if you know what you're worth, you then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hit and not pointing fingers saying you weren't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Whoa. You know my roommate just the other day before this podcast, he said something similar. The world will beat you. Uh, the world will beat you down and beat you up. Or, 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 which has been true. Which has been true. I mean, even what what uh, Rocky said is uh, definitely true. So that was that was very timely. That, how, oh yeah. By the way, uh, Chief Justice's father. Uh, he watched a lot of Rocky. So Chief Justice, if you're listening, you probably you or your father probably might remember that line from Rocky. Love that movie. Wow. <laughs> well, Sheriff, I, it is time to come to the point where I still, you know what? I haven't done a Live Good commercial in a, in a long time. So 
So you know what? Live good. Let's live That's good, right. baby. It's time to live good. It's time to get your uh, time to get your membership, and it's only ten ten dollars membership, or you could do the hundred dollar membership. And you know what, Cheryl? I haven't seen you in the in the bandwagon live lately. I mean, they got some good vitamins that I had to get some when I moved to Galveston. They even got CBD oil, and you know, I heard the popularity of that. And they, they keep coming me. up. With, yeah. They keep coming up with brand new products. They just came out with a brand new product just the other day. Just the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I'm yep. excited about I'm excited about Live Good. I'm still going with them. Uh, so the the only way that you could get in uh, contact with the Big D Country version of Live Good, go to livegoodtour.com slash Big D Country. Livegoodtour.com slash Big D Country. Join. Oh. And if you join and also upgrade on the same day, I have something special for you. Would you like to go on a vacation? Yeah. Would you like to go on a vacation? Would yeah. you like to go you on You know the scheme it is? Live good tour. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I love that <laughs> L.A. That... <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> he got me doing it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Big D country, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you got me against you. <laughs> got you, bro. <laughs> Live the tours. dot com. <laughs> Well, slash big, slash big D country, though. You have to put it by big or else I won't get paid. Slash but anyway. Big D country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before I left myself into oblivion, dude, can you please share your your podcast and uh, how the people get <laughs> Before okay. how people get uh, to it? All right. Okay. We're okay. It's the. Okay, it's uh, the STL Ocarina Podcast. We're on Facebook and on YouTube. Make sure to join us every Thursday on fa- on Facebook. But if you can't join us on Facebook, we're on YouTube.com. Slash Big C1987. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. We're on, we're on, we're on Facebook. We're on Facebook. We're on Facebook. We're on, but if you can't join us on Facebook, we're going to – can't join us on Facebook. We're also on YouTube.com slash Big C1987. Excellent, excellent. And, you know, the Rocky words were so pardoned, but I'm going to let you close, and then I'm going to co- come up with the 50 country night. Uh, uh, yeah, again. So you go close up with how you is, and then I come up with that funny closing. So take it away. All right. Thank you. All right, thank you so much for watching, Big D Country viewers and listeners. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time. And if you're watching us from or listening to us from YouTube land, the county of uh, YouTube in Big D Country, don't forget to like and subscribe, and then you'll be a part of the Big D Country. This is Big D Country. Yeah!